Kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live for the final time from Rossville, Georgia. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling start to your day. Today is travel day for us. Um, but before we depart, we're um, almost ready to go. I'm about to go out. I've checked everything inside, packed everything away, and I'm about to go out and disconnect power, sewer, and water, and um, then roll up the front mat and put that away, and then we will start the engine. And once the engine is started, we then um, pull in the sides, and once the sides are in, we pull in the jacks, and then with the leveling jacks, pull in the, and then we gotta put the blocks away, because we've got leveling blocks out today. Um, and then do a final walk around, make sure everything's in its place, everything's closed up correctly. Oh, I'm gonna bring the awning in too. That was the other thing we have to do. <laughs> and then once everything is checked and cleared, then we get in and we get ready to pull on out. So leaving a little later than anticipated, but it's just time. We're only going like three hours up the road, or two and a half, two and a half hours up the road, but we do have to do a stop at PetSmart to pick up some food for Zephy and we've got to do a Walmart stop to get some food for me. So, <laughs> two very critical stops today and I think we may have to do a fuel stop as well, although I think I'm at half a tank now which would be more than enough to get us to where we need to go, but I don't like getting it down to that final little bit just in case you get stuck in traffic somewhere along the way. Um, so, your challenges for today. So, the mindset challenge is all about start now. It means that dream that you've been putting off, um, go do it, take that leap of faith, go follow that dream to one step today towards that dream. So turn that dream into a goal, set a deadline for it, even if it scares the crap out of you, go do it. You never know. How do you think I ended up living in an RV? I was terrified of having to go apartment hunting or house hunting to find another place to rent. I didn't want to do that. And then the thought of packing up the house and having to unpack and everything else, it was sort of like, yeah, no, I'll just go live in an RV, sell everything, go live in an RV. So basically what I did. <laughs> it had been a dream for a lot of years. Um, so finally got to realize that dream, you know, I took that step. Because um, the anxiety level of just the thought of going and finding a new place to live and to move just was terrifying. Um, and then it was just that, that thought just, and I'm sitting there talking to myself and all of a sudden out of my mouth pops, screw it, I'm just going to go sell all this crap and go live in an RV. And I sat up and I was like looking around going, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so make the decision to start now. Take one step today towards your dream goal, that, that deep down dark one that you have hiding where you don't want anybody to know about it or anybody to see it. Start unveiling it take a step do one step it could be doing research it could be setting a deadline it could be setting your goal date you know because once you make that commitment and you make that and you make that commitment to that dream and that goal and you set it as a goal because a dream is is just a goal without a date so put a goal on that dream to turn it into a, so put a date on that dream to turn it into a goal because a goal is just a dream with a date there you go um, so go do that today and just start, do one thing towards that dream. One thing, it could be researching, it could be um, asking a question. Like I had um, years ago, one of my very first clients, um, when she found out I was in travel, I found out she was a real estate agent, I was like, hey, because then she was, um, we got back in Virginia, she did it in two days. Um, awesome, And but her dream was, was to do a cruise for their 25th wedding anniversary, do something special. And um, so her first, her first, and she'd actually been to a goal setting class and their first step was to take one step towards that goal. And so she found me and so we started, and so she just asked me and we started researching for her. And, be, and within two weeks they were booked on an amazing cruise that they took the following year for their 25th win anniversary. They had an incredible time. And it's all because she's stepped out of her comfort zone and took that very first step. So it's time to step out of the comfort zone Comfort zone is very comfortable, but it's also very detrimental to your life. So take that one step outside that comfort zone and do one thing today towards that, that deep down desire that you have to accomplish. Let's get it started. Let's get going. It's an amazing thing. Once, once you make that commitment, your brain's like, oh, we're doing this? Excellent. Let's figure it out. And the subconscious to work and starts figuring out and all of a sudden doors start opening things start happening and the next thing you know you're there you've got it and you got to set the next one so 
Go start that dream today. Don't be afraid to do it. Yes, I know it is a scary step, but do it anyway. Do it anyway. Just do it. Um, and then your business goal is the post it post it note block is, is that you take three post it notes, three little pieces of paper. And you can see I've got a whole slew of them up here on this. And, oh, actually, there's a few gaps up there. Um, <laughs> take three post it notes, write down three, one on e write on each post it note one thing that needs to be done this week. Okay, so three things that have to be done this week, one per post it note, stick them on your mind of you block out time in your calendar to do that to work on those three things. um and then it and then when we come to friday we'll tell you what to do with them so your challenge this, your challenge for your business this week is to take three things that have to be done this week okay they have to be done by friday and write three things on three post-it notes so one thing per post-it note block the time in your calendar to work on those three things and then friday we'll tell you what post-it notes Okay, and your fun thing, road trip exploration. We're heading out on a road trip today. Still deciding if I'm gonna go up the 75 or if I'm gonna go to the pet store and Walmart and then come back and go up the 127. I was talking to a, it was really weird. I was talking to this guy yesterday and it turns out he lives on the road that our campground is on. He lives three miles down the road from the campground we're gonna be staying at. And um, so it was really weird. And so I was asking him about driving along the 127 and. an he said it's great. He says, you know, you'll have you've got a couple of hill, a couple of small hills in there because you've got to get up onto the plateau. But he says you're going to have that on the 75 as well. So um, it made it more tempting to go the 127. The only thing with the 127 is I have no idea where any services are along the way. So before I get on the 127, I'm going to have to. Yeah, and it's even even like things like taking a break. You know, where if, if there's rest areas along there, where can I go to take a break? Because I like being able to look ahead. Um, to say oh we've got a rest area coming up in five miles excellent i can make that i can do that and then just counting down so it's going to be interesting <laughs> still making that decision but um the 127 is that is that part oh it's part of that 690 mile flea market that they have every august of every year that covers several count i'm gonna go i gotta go look it up so i can tell you guys about it tonight so actually i'm gonna write that down in my book here let's see World's longest flea market, world's largest flea market. <coughs> oh, I need some water. All my water pack, all my water bottles are already packed. Um, I know it's 690 miles long and I can't remember how many states it covers and I think it's the month of, of August that it goes for. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of like, well, if I start driving along that, will I want to stop anywhere along the way and go hunting in some of the stores that are along the way? That's my only concern because I have them in the RV and, um, and I'm going to say, okay, we're going to find a place for it, but um, at least I won't get any breakables. No breakables are going to be out of the, excuse me, my water, oh, that's right, they're all away. Um, so, yes, yeah, so road trip exploration, plan out a road trip cool stuff along the way maybe it's getting off the freeway and taking one of the back roads or something um, you know taking the path less taking the road less traveled so um, maybe <laughs> but the guy did this break was a 40 42 feet I think he said and he had no problems with it along along the 127 and I'm only a 32 so I shouldn't have a problem um, so I might 